season one of Vikings Valhalla ended in a bang with many questions of what the fates of Freydis Eric's daughter, Harold Sitterson, and Leif Erikson be just after Olaf conquers Kattegat for a mere second before Forkbeard comes riding in on ships to take it back. So how does season two pan out? Let's dive right in. What is up everybody? My name is Cross Dance and I am a huge Vikings fan, and this is my take on season two of Vikings Valhalla. So this season starts off right where season one left off, where Olaf gets caged and is captured by King Forkbeard, but only for a short time period before King Forkbeard allows him to stay alive and watch over his grandson as the new king of Kattegat while Forkbeard has business to do elsewhere. For me, this was disappointing letting Olaf off the hook for what he had done, but as you will watch and see for yourself, Olaf has something in store coming for him by the end of season two, so be on the lookout for that. Now, after season one, I was unsure of how Leif would be after the death of Liv, which was his last friend from Greenland and a person who he ended up falling in love with. Where after she passed away, Leif went into a full-on Viking mode rage that was very similar to the way his father was perceived with being just a really crude Viking. So I was thinking maybe this season that he might have went on a killing rage and became a totally different character, but that wasn't the case where he was able to maintain his composure from the start of season two after getting away from Katakat after the last battle and it was honestly really, really nice to see as a fan that Leaf was still the same character in a way. For Harold and Freydis, they went into hiding right after the end of season one, just because Harold got badly injured and they were just uncertain with the thoughts and decisions that Forkbeard would have, since there hasn't been any communication between Harold and King Canute in a while with his alliance that he will be future King of Norway. So in the beginning of season two, they were out found in the woods where they were staying low for a while. And soon enough, Harold did regain his strength and healed up from his wounds where his ambitions of wanting to be king started to come back. But Freydis wanted no part of him being a king, mainly because he was a Christian. and She couldn't withstand having a Christian son. So they ended up going separate ways with some information left untold by Freydis, which would have changed the whole direction and outcome of Harold's decisions if she would have told him about it. So all in all, season two did start out with a bang, but if I gotta be honest here, the rest of the episodes were good and all, but I was kind of disappointed with how dragged out the episodes were to where by the last episode, I felt like the season was just getting started or like kind of halfway through to where the, the plots, they were just very dragged out and so, little disappointed. And another thing that I felt was a little odd with the series so far is that we haven't seen King Canute in a while since the first season in episode six to where he abruptly married Queen Emma and then he left to go fight some people in Denmark. And he made finally made an appearance back in season two in the last two episodes, but just very shortly. And I just find it a little weird. And I know he's not the main character, but he is the king. So you would think that he would be in more of the episodes just based off of the original series Vikings with King Ragnar and then King Harold. So a little strange, but for me, it seemed like season two was more of a developmental season where that, like I said, the plots were really stretched out with each episode and there's a lot more dialogue, a lot less fighting scenes and a lot less Basically, there, there was not any big major battles, just kind of small ones here and there. Whereas a Vikings fan, I love the battle scenes. I love when there's the huge battles where they're just going at each other. And that's what gets me going as a Vikings fan. Where I'm hoping that by season three, that they introduce more of the battle scenes back in and get the plots a little bit, not narrowed down, but a lot less dragged out. That would be really nice to see. Now, despite how I didn't really necessarily like how the season ended so abruptly, I did, however, enjoy the storyline where Harold and Leif went up north, had some fighting scenes here and there, and embarked on a journey on the ice and pulled a boat and made some new friends with some new characters. So that was cool to see, but it could have been shortened down into a few, maybe one or two episodes rather than the entire series. I also liked how Freydis went on her own journey and she embarked to a place called Youngsburg, which is basically 
off the map and there was uh, some new characters there that it was, took a turn of events. So that, that was a cool, cool plot scene from Vikings Valhalla and the very ending, it's, it was a good one. Like I mentioned in the beginning, my name is Crosscamps and I am a huge Vikings fan and I typically don't do these types of videos, but I just wanted to give you all my take on season two of Vikings Valhalla. And in the near future, I want to play a role in Vikings Valhalla and be a character where I heard the news that they were extending the season out to at least six seasons so far. And so I think I got the looks for being a Viking in Vikings Valhalla. So comment down below and let me know what you think if I got what it takes to be a Viking. If you found this video insightful, make sure you give it a like. And if you are interested in losing weight, gaining muscle, which is basically what my channel mainly revolves around, please subscribe where I used to weigh 220 pounds and I'm currently down to about 170 pounds and I plan to keep on losing weight until I get shredded and I just started a weekly series on that which comes out every Mondays now. So that's all I got for you today guys and I really hope you enjoyed this video. So in the meantime, I'll see you all soon. Peace.